All right, so now that we have our schedule set up, let's talk about how to set up a roster. Um, now, the way you would do it is, you know, you go to your concerts, go to your drop down, and hit roster. But before we do that, there's a couple things that need to be in place first. And since this is kind of a video to, to walk you through uh, as though you were new, let's talk about those. First thing is members. If I go over to my members section, every member in your database needs to be have assigned an instrument and what's called a status. This is very important. Uh, now, in the beginning, we talked about how to import members. You can also add members uh, on your own by doing new member, doing it like that. You can also have a member go to the front part of the site and they can join the site. That's a much better way of doing it if you're doing one at a time. But it's important that they be assigned an instrument and the status. So to give you an example, if I go down and I go violin, so I have 16 members that are violinists. And you notice in the, the types over here, I have um, you know tenured and violin. If I go to status, and then I go to um, tenured, I have nine members who play violin and that are tenured. Now this is important because when we set up our roster, the roster needs to know you know who's a violinist, who's a violist, who's a cellist, so it puts them in the right spot. It also needs to know things like you know if they're tenured, if they're a substitute. That sort of a thing. You can edit these by going to member, member types, um, and this is where you would do your edits. Now, when you have a new package, a new platform, it comes set up with instruments and status in there, but you might want to add or, or change or edit some of them. If I go to view all and then I click on instrument, it brings me to my uh, just my member types that are instruments. You can reorder these by moving them around with the drag button. That'll put them in the order that you want. You can add it by creating member type. You want to make sure and toggle instrument, add your new member type. Um, you also, uh, status, you can add status by creating member type, clicking status. And you can also move this, this order around. Now, this is really important because you might want to, like in this particular account, they, they, we've got guests and, and resign and sabbatical, but you might uh, want to have your like tenured up at the top, tenured track next, substitute, maybe audition candidate. Uh, you want to have them in the order because that's how it's going to be ordered in the roster. The next thing I want to bring up is in the repertoire. You can actually assign uh, a roster in a repertoire. For example, if I go to, let's see, go to a Beethoven. And I go to my Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Now you'll notice that in here I can set my roster number. So I've got you know 12 violinists, uh, 8 violists, 2 bass. Um, and this is going to be important also when setting up your roster. If you use the Daniels, it'll actually uh, pull that information in from the Daniels and auto-fill these for you. It'll tell you what you need, uh, what kind of roster you need to play that piece. Okay, so those two things we want to bring up. Now let's go back to our seasons. And I'm going to do a concert series. And let's start with our October 13, 14 Copeland. So I'm going to go roster. Okay, so I could do this by just setting up, manually setting up a, a, a roster. And the way I do it is for violins, let's say we need 10. Let's say we need violas 8 and cellos 3. And you could com continue th through with this. This is how you would set up your numbers and then click add and it sets up your roster. Now you'll notice that um, if I click view, you'll notice that I have a chair. I have one, two, three, and I can move these around in whatever order I want to. If I go into or edit mode, you'll notice how it's set up the way I was talking about. Now in this particular one, it's just because uh, this is kind of a dummy site. You know, I wouldn't normally have my non-tenured at the top, but uh, non-tenured is there, and then tenured, and then tenured track, and then substitute, and so forth. And you notice all the musicians are assigned uh, correctly. Um, so that, that, like for example, it knows these are my violin players. And this is why you're, having your members is so important. Okay, that's one way of doing it. I'm going to show you another way of doing it. Let's go ahead and set up my repertoire for this concert. And I'm going to set up my Beethoven. And this is the Beethoven that I just showed you. So we'll click that, and I'll go ahead and add that to this concert. And so now I've got that added to the concert. Now that this has a, a roster assigned to it, and if I go back into roster, you'll notice that this button that says Create from Repertoire. So by clicking on this, 
it just automatically populates the roster that's in the, the repertoire database. Also, if you have like multiple pieces, let's say for example you have a Bach piece uh, as the overture that requires a harpsichord, and then you have uh, your concerto and then maybe your symphony uh, that's a large symphony at the, the end that needs like 10 horns in it and a percussion section of maybe five. By clicking on that, it'll, it'll take the sum of all of those and create your roster. So it'll make sure and assign a, um, a harpsichord uh, instrument to it. It'll make sure and assign your five percussion chairs, even though they may not need, be needed in the first half of the piece. Okay. Uh, also, you can set up templates by going to Season, and then go to your roster and roster templates. By doing this, you could create a basic orchestra here. And now I'd add my instrumentation like this. And so here I'd go, you know, my 10 violins and violin two, violin three. And this way, when you, when you set up your repertoire, I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a simple one here to show you how to use it. Yeah, here's your basic orchestra, and there's the one I just set up. So now when I go to my season roster, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one I set up. Refresh my page. Now you notice I can set it up. I can set it up from my repertoire. I can set it up from one of the templates that I created or I can just set it up from scratch. So there's multiple ways to do a roster. Um, so hope you like it and enjoy.